Our next speaker is Islam Hindi. Have you ever tried to explain what you're doing in a dissertation to someone outside your field, your wife for example, and then at the end of the conversation, you get the weird look with the weird question. Why in the world are you doing this? Why aren't you talking about something more fun like shopping? Now, if this ever happened to you, it means that there is a miscommunication happening between you as the communicator and your wife as the audience. At this point in your life, you have two options. Either you quit the PhD and find something else to invest in or you fix the problem. Now, if you decided to do the first thing, I can't help you. I'm sorry. But if you decided to do the second thing, I definitely can. And my dissertation is going to be the solution for your miscommunication problem. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my dissertation in which I will be talking about the side effects of using the wrong genre on communication and translation. Now, if you're still asking yourself, what does even the word genre mean? It means two S's and two C's. Style, structure, culture, and connotation. Now, as we have seen in the worst case scenario between you and your wife, you have the knowledge, but you use the inappropriate genre because of your ignorance of the audience, so your message gets undelivered. While in the best case scenario, when you have the knowledge and use the appropriate genre because you know your audience, so your message gets delivered. Now, in the perfect case scenario, which is translation in my case, you have the knowledge and you know how to use the genre in two different languages. And because you know your audience in two different languages, so your message gets delivered with faithfulness. The word faithfulness here means the degree to which the translator commits himself to the genre of the original text. In my dissertation, I'm examining two different types of text, religious text, the holy book, and business text, which deals with the documents used in the workplace. The results of my dissertation so far shows that the translator who didn't, didn't commit himself to the, genre, the appropriate genre of the original text and the religious text ended up with having a fake impression on the targeted audience, which led them to ask, is this even a religious text? While the results of using an appropriate genre in business text led to inconvenience, confusion, and ended up with miscommunication, specifically because you're dealing with international audience. Now imagine this situation where two of your friends are engineers talking about something in their field while you're standing on the side, understanding nothing and asking yourself, are these people like us or are they aliens? And the answer to this question is that they are people like us and the only difference is that they are using genre that you and I are not used to. Thank you.